life is difficult for all. Together, these four young girls faced life in those dark days. We present the story of these little women. Meg, the oldest, was a little grown up. Joe, the tomboy, and wanted to become a writer. Beth was shy, gentle, and kind. And Amy, the youngest, was the naughtiest of all. One day, a soldier comes to their door. Oh, who is it? I'll see. Oh, please come in. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I have a draft for you, sir. Oh, what is it? Get ready to leave. For? I have to leave immediately. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, it is the civil board. I have to leave immediately for the sake of my country. For? For that you really have to leave. Yes, my dear. Don't cry, girls. I will be back before you know it. Take care. After their father leaves for war, hardships descended on the family. Without father, they could not get enough money to buy food. Their mother worked hard, but she did not support the family. Days passed by, and one day, a letter arrived from the battlefield. Marmy, Marmy, look, there's a letter for you. Mother, here's a letter from father. Please read it. Yes, dear. Uh, it's come from the friend. My father is fighting the war. I shall read it. I shall read it. Mrs. March, your husband has been wounded in the battle. Oh, I shall read it. Mrs. March, your husband has been wounded in the battle and is in the hospital. Please come immediately. <laughs> I have to be there to take care of your father. But... Where can I get so much money to reach there? Everything will be all right, Mommy. I will bring the money. But how? Don't worry, be very bad. When Joe finally returns home, all were shocked to see her. With a big smile on her face, she hands some money to her mother. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, she has fever. Keep the fever down until we went to school. She seems to be missing her mother too. Mommy. The sisters were relieved but still had a concern. And the doctor could not understand why they still looked worried. Don't fret girls. It will be okay as soon as the fever is gone. I feel so okay. much. We are very glad to hear that, but I'm afraid we have no money to pay for your visit, sir. We are so sorry. That's not a problem, girls. Unless your parents will get it How about that? Thank you, doctor. That's so kind of you. It's no problem at all. After the doctor left, the sisters took even more care of Beth. Unfortunately, Beth was unhappy as she missed her mother. Mommy! I want mommy! Mommy! Don't disturb yourself, Beth. She'll be back soon. Please get better. She'll be back soon. Here, Beth. Have some water. At that moment, they hear a knock at the door. Amy, just go and see who is it. Who is it? Oh, look who's here. Marmy, I'm so glad to see you. Marmy. Oh, my dear daughters, I'm so glad to see you. How are you? We are okay. Where's Beth? Beth is resting. Resting? Let's go to her. Oh, Beth, what happened to you? Why are you in bed? Marmy, I wasn't feeling well. I'll feel better soon. I'm so glad that you're back. Oh, Beth, I'm here to take care of you. You must get better soon. I'm already feeling better, Mommy. Just because you're back. Maybe Beth was just pretending to be sick because she wanted you back so badly. No! Everybody laughed as they felt safe and happy. The sisters are preparing for Christmas. They long for many things but try to be happy. Christmas won't be Christmas without any presents. One should not be poor and we don't even have a Christmas tree. I don't think it is right for some people to have plenty of things and others not in their own. We have got father and mother and each other. Isn't that enough to be happy? But not father. He is far away there. Fighting. Do you know? Mother is refusing to celebrate Christmas this year. Why? Because our uh, men are suffering in the army. Hmm. I have an idea. What? Let us all get us something for Christmas and not buy anything for ourselves. That's a great idea. Who's there? Oh, Mommy. Mommy has brought something for us. What are you hiding? My dear girls, I'm so glad to see you happy today. I've got a treat for you. What, what is, is it? it? Wow, a Christmas tree. I, I love, love you, you, Mommy. <coughs> Mother, is Father coming home soon? Yes, dear. The war is almost over. Your father has hurt his leg. He's getting better soon and is missing you all very much, dear. I hope he'll be with us soon. Christmas without him is incomplete. We miss father so much, mother. I know, dear. You've been so brave taking care of your sisters. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Christmas Eve came and the sisters hung their stockings about the fireplace, waiting for presents. Why are you hanging two stockings? Do you hope to get more presents? Give me one. Beth, Beth, give it to me. Beth, give Annie her stockings. She needs to because they're smaller. Give me back. They are still poor but happy to be together. But the mother watched her daughters feeling and looking a little sad. Oh, I get a painting kit this Christmas. I really wish for some books and pens. I really want a pretty dress. I want some dolls. Oh, this is going to be a sad and lonely Christmas. I don't have enough money to buy gifts for my daughters. That night, as the sisters lay down to sleep, each dreamed of the present she wanted most. Christmas morning came and the sisters were disappointed to see that there was no present beside the Christmas tree. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, oh no, 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 no
have food for breakfast. Suddenly, they hear a knock at the door. Who is it at this hour? Who is it? I will see. Look who is it? Surprise! Father! 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 Surprise! How are you? I'm fine. Oh, my lovely princess is half tall and all grown. Oh, oh my lord, father. Oh, father, we miss you so much. Oh, I'm so glad you're back on Christmas. I miss you all too. And I'm so glad to be back with you all on Christmas. And here, this is the most I could make of my gift. Father, you being back with us on Christmas is the best gift. Oh. Thank, Thank you, you Santa. Having their father back safe and sound was the best Christmas present a little woman could ever have imagined. Let us get introduced to the characters. I am your dynamic narrator Ananta Pai. Mother. I am your motherly Gauri. Jo. I am the gentle Saditi. Meg. I am the caring Ishani. Ben. I am the delicate Purvi. Amy. I am the notorious Chetana. Doctor and soldier. I am the comforting Abhinav. Father. I am the patriotic Aditya.